Hey, what do YouTube? Uh, this is Real Wrestling episode 30. God damn, it's my episode. Yeah, I know, for real. Shit, on the number. Yeah, My name's Yakis. Everybody introduce yourselves. The Real X, dog. Whitey. Go the, ahead. The concept. Rage Incarnate. Man, you got to start switching your damn names, dog. You can't be using more than one. It's AYT, the Rage Incarnate. I think that's only two either. No, you, you use darkness and block out the sun, nigga. <laughs> Block out the sun, nigga. <laughs> but all right, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get get started. Um, first of all, I want to say this one thing um, before we get into NXT Rival or Rival, whatever the hell it's called. Um, takeover Rival. Oh, take it's Takeover Rival. Yeah, they all take Rival. Over. Okay. NXT Takeover Rival. It's like a slash thing, man. Shit, they need to take over the main roster, but that's not the point. Um, that, but shit, never mind. Um, <laughs> not with the genetic. You get deep push. Yeah, no, I said never mind. <laughs> yeah, they'll get buried before they even they even, they're buried in NXT right now. He's just thinking about burying them. He already he already has coffins for them ready and everything. This one's for Belor. I thought that was Bray Wyatt we're talking about. Yeah, man. <laughs> I thought we were talking about NFT. I'm like, shit, bro. It'd be, hey, it'd be funny if someone photoshopped the IW, like, like uh, fucking, uh, what, what's his name? Zack Ryder in that coffin. <laughs> well, he was one of the uh, pallbearers on Monday. Oh, that's cool. But um, I got to say this one thing. Um, I want to talk about TNA just for a second. I that that show. I, I, start, I, can't say that. Hmm? I can't believe one their viewership is up more than it had last year, and their ratings are actually higher than they've been what for a long time. Yeah, that and is, they on Destination America. That is shocking, actually. Everybody, I, 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 I always say the same thing. I don't watch TNA anymore. But now, but now what, what what's on Destination America to watch anyway? There's nothing travel, but travel it's show. basically. Halfway house travel channel. See, yeah. I'd get, I'd get <laughs> that. Impact Wrestling. So, so, you mean, <laughs> I, so you mean it's a three-quarters house food network. I, I would just get that Thanks, just dude. to watch <laughs> all the house shit and say, fuck TNA. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I got to travel. Wait, yeah. what's this shit wrestling show? I'll, I'll, I'm changing the channel. <laughs> I still believe what, what hurt TNA the most was that you turned Santino Morella and the Daniel Bryan out of fucking nowhere and fans did not respond to it. <laughs> did that base, And I feel sorry for Eric Young. He deserved better than that. Well, don't we I feel sorry for all of them. All the big, all the big name faces that were in that company are not fucking healed. Or gone. <laughs> or gone like Samoa Joe. That one's probably the Razor. They did that. It's still up. I tried. I tried to watch the first episode. I said they're a new network. They doing things different. I'm gonna watch it. The first episode, they turned all their their faces healed. I didn't get. What was up? What, what was the name of that shit? The Beat Down Clan? Beat Down Crew, <laughs> Clan. Make no, B- Beat Down Crew was what Samoa Joe called it. He oh. couldn't even get the damn name right. <laughs> what, what it's the Beat called? Down. It's BDC, Beat the Down BDC. Clan. I mean, they were doing okay. I mean, they brought back Awesome Kong, which is pretty cool. Yes. Uh, and I just think, to squash the havoc. But for what I heard, yeah. she must be hurt or something because her matches are not like. They say they're not in, like she. Most of her matches her just doing the impact, implant buster. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. Yeah. So she must still be hurt. I don't know. Well, like she had, she had back issues or something. Oh. Uh, and I'm and I'm like, okay, if she had all these back issues. There was no point in bringing her back. And Havoc, pretty much the second Kong showed back up. Havoc was pretty much her days were numbered. So Cap- so Havoc is done with Impact. Yeah, she showed up like on Shimmer or something like that. Not too long ago. That's a weird. shocker. And pretty much TNA says you can show up on like they kind of, they used to be very stringent on what indies you could show up on, but in the last couple of years, in, in TNA just stopped giving a fuck as long as you're just not on eye pay per view or anything. <laughs> like you could show up on any fucking indie. You well, want. yeah, because Samoa Joe. In, wait, I'm like, what is TNA in? They can't complain about what their wrestlers do. Yeah, well, I'm about to say Samoa Joe's been wrestling for Wrestle One and what was the other one? I want to say Triple A for the past year. Well, TNA used to have a deal with Triple A until I think they pissed off somebody. Because uh, TNA is really good about burning bridges with other companies. Because they were they had a deal with New Japan that got burned up because of Okada and how they treated Okada. That made them pretty much that made Muda sour on him. No, it wasn't Muda sour on him. It was somebody else. 
And then they had to deal with AAA, which was to make Hernandez better, and that worked out well. <laughs> <laughs> but, Diakis, what was your main point of... Uh, Hitman anyway. Hernandez, number two. <laughs> 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 Join. That reminds me of that me- those memes they put. They had Hitman Hernandez. They got. They got. I'll be joining the Bullet Club. They got Aaron Hernandez. The What was Deoxy's main point? Bring it up to you. My main person. point was I still somewhat watch the product. Uh, and uh, th- I watch clips too. Oh, uh, freaking! <laughs> I think one of the funniest damn things. I don't know if I mentioned this real, last real wrestling. I probably did. No, we, we ain't talk about TNA in the last real wrestling, nope. did we? No. Nah. Man, when fucking Robbie E gave fucking Velvet Sky that your fire briefcase, man, I died I heard, laughing. I heard about it. I was, oh, I, I was done. No, the best part was that he just says, "Hey, babe, you open this up for me." She opens it up and it's the fire one. She's like. He's like, oh wait, you open the fire line. You're no, fire. no, no, no. She, I am the smartest man. No, 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 no. no. You, you, you did it. You did it backwards. Uh, what? He said, nah. Since since you pulled it down, you open it. <laughs> it was your. It was the your fired briefcase. And then he went to his tirade. How about he's the best wrestler? Or he's the smartest. Smartest wrestler, wrestler ever. ever. Yeah, that shit was funny. And that's one of the bright spots. Still employed. I like that. <laughs> And well, actually, thing, that might be better for her than him. And the last thing is, <laughs> if Triple H loses, he's worse than EC3 because EC3's beat Sting. EC3 even pointed that out, man. He's like, man, Triple H, I already did it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> but, but, better win. But, but, um, TNA really don't exist to WWE. Yeah. So Steam technically did not lose. It plus to tri- no EC3. Plus Triple H because EC3 don't exist. Triple H just opened his wallet up and, and buried EC3. <laughs> I mean, oh, see what I did there. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we can move on to Rob. I just wanted to touch on a few things on, on the Impact. I'll say something about the Mojo Joe real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Like, right? Well, that's a good thing. I read that this yeah. morning. That. Oh yeah, and it comes on television. Thank you. Yeah. So, so, thank you, Channel Four. But. Samoa, they're trying to make it seem like Samoa Joe smart that he finally left. No, you don't for just now deciding to leave. Yeah. Samoa Joe should have left five years ago. I mean, he was only hot one year. That was, that was 05 and 06. Mm-hmm. When he had the storyline where he ran through the whole X division, he got probably, he was in the greatest match they ever had in TNA with Daniels mm-hmm. and uh, AJ. Then he was in the hottest feud with Kurt Angle, where he beat Kurt Angle, and TNA fucked him Angle up for sweat. Seven years straight. Let's call it the NXT Takeover rival. Um, well, what, 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 what's good? What's what's everybody's overall opinion on the pay per view? It I, wasn't I, as good well, as the one before that. Event, I, my bad. You don't pay for this shit. I well, didn't. Network, you do. I didn't watch it, so I, I didn't watch it. Comment. But I know the results, and just by the results, they did everything correctly. But I can't really tell you about the matches. I will say about the ma- I will say for the match part, the storyline progression was great because I mean they I'm did what they supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But for the match quality, uh, what's the name of the one before then? Um, right, was the rival? No, no, no it was Takeover Two. It was oh Takeover Two. No, 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 no. Our Evolution. Yeah, yeah, our Evolution. Oh, our Evolution was definitely. I gave that a ten. This one gave like an eight and a half. Cause uh, I agree. I the first couple matches was kind of. It was good, but it, uh, uh, Tommy, when he said he's kind of slow I, and getting the new style and stuff. I, I gave it a nine because I only had two flaws with the whole show. And the botches in that tag team. See, I had it at nine, but when you pointed at the botch, when I was looking at that tag team, I was like, oh, eight and a half. <laughs> yeah. no, just, it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad. I mean, they really recovered real well from those botches during the tag team. It just, but the way it kind of started, it felt kind of awkward. Cause it was just too many weird, awkward pauses. And this one made the announcement so good because they pointed that shit out. They were like, why is he getting on here? They look confused. And they even yeah, the announcer was like, why aren't they, you know, why he's not capitalizing? They were trying to figure out how they were going to go. At that point, but once they start rolling, they were rolling. Yeah. I kind of wish the announcer didn't say it because that made me notice that there were weird pauses. Yeah, but people tend to forget this about NXT because a lot of people go all indie boner and shit for it. But well, I know remember, it's, it's still it is their developmental. Yeah, I was about to say it's still their developmental. So yeah, every once in a while you're going to see people fuck up and stuff, and that sounds like a uh, I wouldn't say amateur mistake, but it's a rookie mistake, and people tend to forget that. 
Oh, people I'm, are there still to learn. Oh, I'm grading it on NXT as being developmental. Uh, apparently, apparently, John Cena needs to go back to developmental so he can teach his ass how to whisper. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I thought I thought we should get to that during his match because you can't. When we get to that part on, on I what's totally name? missed out. I always miss when he he calls out. Uh, it's because uh, it's when you watch Batmania for so long and you catch him just just uh, saying. You, yeah, it's like your ears just ex- ex- expect it. <laughs> oh, because I don't even pay attention. I, I was eating. So I but uh, really anyway, let's go ahead and get some. Throw me a, on apparently, there was a dark <laughs> match. It was the uh, it, it was Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy versus the VOD villains. And um, the um, what we, the realest guys in the room? Are they, are they yeah, that's one of their names. Uh, they won, apparently, in the, in the, in the dark it. match. But let's go ahead and get to the main card. Um, Hideo Tommy versus Tyler Breeze. This match was really good to me. Mm-hmm. It was a sleeper. Because it was one of those matches that you went in and you're thinking, okay, this is going to be eh, whatever. I mean, and it turned out to be really good. Yeah. It was a good match, but it did show. It does show why it, it's definitely developmental. <laughs> the deck needs to work. Hideo. He needs work. Hideo. It's, it's <laughs> remember, not that. Remember, no, he remember does he, he, got work on his, he can't get he his got, name right. He got work on the style, the WWE style. Of the exactly. Yeah. Because, and that's a flaw. I think that's a flaw. They should let him wrestle that Japanese style. That's what he know. But Why just, should he have to... That's, that's, I know that's how it is. Like They brought up the comparison between like football team. Like If you come to the Patriots, you got to run their playbook. Yeah. So that's how it is in WWE. I know... Once he came over there, he got to learn they style. Right. But that is killing him. Yeah, and him not having a finisher right now is his biggest problem. I don't know he, what the fuck it is. I, it's like, he, they, he, he just went in with that little running kick, and it's like, it's not even strong. I don't even see how they getting beat by that. I mean, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for the moment he actually hits to go to sleep. <laughs> but I'm, I'm tired of him teasing it. What, they tease him again? Yes. Yes. Every, yes. Every every match he teases it. Every yeah. match every he teases it. Every match, match. He, he teases it. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing the reason why he definitely go du- you definitely go WWE side. You don't want a situation where he knows what you're doing, but the other guy is expecting him to react a different way. That's how you get injured. Also, yeah. remember, remember injured. Japanese wrestling yeah, is a lot I, more. I that was killing people. And remember, uh, Japanese style wrestling <laughs> is a little right bit that harder uses. on the body. <laughs> And remember, Japanese real. wrestling, Cutthroat. you kind of, yeah, you wrestle like two time. weeks and then you take a couple of weeks off. Versus WWE, you're doing this like three, four days a week. So Japanese style kind of, it, it's harder on the body in the long run. Yeah. But because of the way the um, Japanese do the scheduling and stuff, you get some downtime. Versus WWE, you're going like I said, five days three, a week, yeah. three, four, five days a week. So uh, in the long run, like I said, Japanese style wrestling would kind of. Yeah, that's, yeah. But also the scheduling I, I difference is the reason why I don't get too annoyed with the main roster. Not wrestling to the level that NXT does. Cause like they're going right there to SmackDown next to do this all over again. Yeah, that's going to be kind of tiring. They keep putting on matches like just like the match we just talked yeah. about. You can't do that. Yeah, we well, yeah. remember hey, you how the Adele Italian and Tyler Breeze match came about. Yeah, remember this oh, NXT yeah. thing. That shit was so fun. And they are trying to talk to whoever it was, Devin or whatever her name is, and then here Tom Breeze just kicked the living shit out of him and started beating him down in the corner. I'm like, God damn! Yeah, <laughs> that was fucked up! I was so fucked up! He was kicking the shit out of him, too. Yeah, yeah, he kicking the shit out. I'm like, damn, dude! Stop me hey, hey, he Hidea, got stomped in the hey, fucking chest! Today I got here, man, because he kicked the shit out of Breeze all throughout that match. <laughs> <laughs> That I mean, that was a vicious kid. I'm, like, I'm glad he Tommy got no little pass. I'm because... surprised. I'm surprised today. Or Tommy was still walking after that brutal ass <laughs> fucking drop kick he took from down Belor. Oh yeah, hey, <laughs> that I'll shit put, was I'll wow. Put it like this, Though he did some pretty kicks for an uggo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wouldn't call Finn Belor uggo. What? <laughs> I bet that dude be slaying the pussy. But anyway, that's not the point. Um. Uh, yeah, but uh, Hideo won uh, with that running kick thing. Was it, what, did he win with the running kick? Is that the, kick? Yeah, that be John Cena? Or? No, no, no. It's a kick. It's, it's, like, a kick. it's, like, a, it's like a modified version of it's, that. It's it's like, a, yeah, it's like what Samoa Joe's finisher with the running. That, not finish, that running kick Samoa Joe does. It's pretty that, cool, though. And, and Bree thought it pretty well, too. He had to because it didn't look strong. <laughs> Unlike Roman Reigns. Well, actually, if you think about it scientifically... <laughs> If you jump with one leg bent and then you all of a sudden kick it out while you're running full speed, that shit will hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just don't look strong. I wish it would use something like, I don't know. A GTS? 
It's it something. Does, it a happen. running knee to the face that I mean, that can defeat. A he's done it before. Superstar. He's done the run, the Busai knee, or whatever the hell it's called before. So, shine with the Falcon knee. Why not just go shine with it? Just, just knock it out the park. Because that's yeah. that's Muto's move. Yeah. Anybody know they're using it though, other than AJ Lee? Um. Next match is in a no disqualification match: Baron Corbin versus Bull Dempsey. Oh, I hate that. Uh, what? Another qualification? Uh, <laughs> they only use a chair like twice. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> no, nobody got hit with no chair. What? They brought it in. Oh, I could have sworn Bull Dempsey hit Baron Corbin twice with the chair. I don't think he did. Uh, I think, think he, he did, but I mean, it, 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 didn't, it didn't matter. matter. <laughs> oh, really match. Look at what I heard about the car. This match was more overrated than Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao this year. Yeah. <laughs> It that wasn't like it happened yet, so we don't know that. Oh, I already know it's gonna be overrated. <laughs> of course it will, but we don't know we that. That's what old, I'm saying. We talking about two old ass men, and in this case, we talking about two monsters. It's like I, I thought I was gonna get more in this. I heard with no DQ. I'm like, oh yes, this is gonna be the match. Like, there was no the point of this match being no DQ. What? It didn't feel like once the chair was brought in, it was the end of days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, they could end a match. <laughs> well, the biggest problem with the match was the fact that both of them have are just known for having notoriously short matches, and the fact that Bull has lost every fucking time they've gotten in the ring together. Yeah. So they've he's already lost to Baron Corbin like twice already. So it was like, like man, beating a dead horse. Point? What? It's like beating a dead horse. I know. Like but, he needed he had to win this one or just end the feud or please. Bull had to win. Well, Bull. Also, like I said, there's a reason why it's developmental. He still needs work. Oh, uh, yeah, but Baron Actually, does, both too. Both of them, really. Both of them need work. Actually, both of them but are right. I'd rather watch both of them than Kane and Big Show. See, both of them are right, but the way the story <laughs> they were playing was that he was beating his opponents quickly, just like Baron would be his opponent. Like, Baron is having short matches because he's not ready. He's not even ready to do a long match. Bull can do a long match. He was just playing part of the story. It just it just feels like yeah they're not getting called up anytime soon. Barry, I, actually, I had faith that Barry could get called up until I seen his match. I'm like, nope, he's not. No, he's no way. He there. actually did have a decent match with uh, what's him call it with uh, Adrian Neville. Okay, but Neville's that, one of those guys where uh, he's like a Brian like character. Yeah, yeah. if you have a bad match with Neville, um, I almost want to say you yeah. fucking suck. No, you do <laughs> suck. Never that that match is gonna be good regardless because Neville was in. Yeah, because there's like there's a very small club of wrestlers that if you have a bad match with them, then you fucking suck. Mm-hmm. If you're a bad match with them, go back, go stand next to which car with it and CJ Parker and hold a sign though, because that's what really <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> But I give that bull them match. I give that. I give that a. Yeah, that low. That was the weakest match of the night. Yeah. Hands down. But I still think the problem is, like, both of them, their whole gimmick is their matches were short. And the match just, it it was, it felt too long. It should have been both of them just throwing balls and trying to kill each other. And it just, it plotted along. Too. That, 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 that was pretty good. Yeah, it kind of just plotted along. What's next? All right. It's, it's the next match is Blake Mur- Blake and Murphy. You know the weird techno music with the Lucha Dragons with the Lucha music for the TNA. I'm um, not TNA. I'm <laughs> bad. NXT. I have been drinking NXT Tag Team Championships versus the Lucha Dragons. Yeah, yeah I said Blake and Murphy with the with the weird dubstep bullshit yeah. music with the Lucha Dragons with the Lucha Lucha Lucha. With the Luchas, you already know they have great spots, and they did have great spots. I only had one one problem with that match. It started off sort of, it confused the hell out of me. Out exactly. Of me in the beginning, there was these two spots, like maybe two or three, no, two, at like maybe the two minute mark and maybe like the three minute mark, where it confused the living shit out of me. But after they got through those rough patches, the match was excellent. Kalisto botched my favorite spot that he always does when he do that uh, when he spring off the middle rope yeah. from the inside and do that corkscrew to the outside. He went for it and he slipped, and then he just did a cross back. I was like, damn. There was this one spot in the match that was probably one, one of the things. Like it's like they, they didn't know what the hell to do. I think I think um, one of them was down. either Sin Cara or Kalisto. I can't tell them apart mm. except one's really short. Um, Kalisto. Okay. But one of them was like down, and the dude didn't take a do a pin or anything. He just stood there and looked at him. Yeah. And that confused the living shit out of him. Yeah, oh was, yeah, that that move Kalisto did when he did that hurricane run that like he spiked him. Mm. Oh yeah. Like yeah. it was like a standing hurricane run in the middle of the ring. Yeah. He spiked him. I think this is what led to the finish though. Frankenstein DDT or some shit. Yeah. 
And the other thing about that match was, I wanted to know the confused part of the announcer didn't call me to it. And for when he said that, like, now I know, like, they are kind of choppy at the moment. But once it got going, it just, yeah. it was great. I even like how Blake and Murphy um, finished them off, because I didn't see that coming. The because. running brain buster, and he fucking did a frog, frog splash. splash yeah. yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, i never seen their finisher or anything before yeah. then, because they've been jobbing for so long. <laughs> and then when they beat when they beat the Violet Vittles and the, um, the Lucha Dragon to win the belt, it was by luck. The way the match was booked. I'm, but they let them flat out beat the Dragon on, um, on Rival. Uh, let's talk about how this match came about. Because I think it started when Blake and Murphy um, surprise upset the Vibe villains, right? Yeah. And then they um, then they faced, they challenged the Lucha Dragons and they won the belts, which surprised the living shit out of me. I was not expecting that. I wasn't either. It was the biggest swerve I've ever seen. Um, now I think Blake and Murphy, they're I think they're going against um, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy now. Yeah, that's the next feed. They set them. it up. They set it up pretty good because they try to call out Carmella. Well, they were hollering at uh, Enzo, Enzo's girlfriend, his dreams. <laughs> no, nah, the whole time, like, like if you watch any of the Carmella Enzo cast bits, she is so into cast, and Enzo, she just don't give a fuck about Enzo. Yeah. Although Enzo keep, well, then again, Enzo kind of treats her like I mean, shit. I mean, look at his face. <laughs> He's trying to do that whole if you treat her like dirt, she'll no. If you drag, if you treat her like mud, she'll stick like glue. That's what he said. <laughs> Oh my God! Notice how well that one's working. We for. we know we know who's on the uh, couch tonight. <laughs> oh. He's gonna be on his own couch in his apartment by himself. S A W F T. Oh! <laughs> I think uh, that's perfect segue into the next match: Finn Balor versus Adrian Neville. Greatest for- man alive. <laughs> Damn. For the number one NXT. championship. I was number one <laughs> contender for NXT championship. Well, he's a TNA, so you don't count anymore. Who? First of all, this match was awesome. <laughs> yes. And I knew they were going to do this match because they fall on the Indies, and that's how they got their contract. Mm-hmm. I mean, right after the match, uh, Neville got hurt. And I guess Bella had to finish up. He had to finish up in New Japan. Yeah, but you knew they both was coming. I mean, he was president of the Bullet Club. <laughs> <laughs> Hitman, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people shit on him that because it started off slow. But I'm like, oh, you knew it had to start off. It slow. had to start. They had to feel each other out. Shit. Yeah. That's how you. That's how you. That's how you. That's how you. You know, start doing shit, man. I was like, what's yeah. probably what we did with Takeover Two, where we call. Cause there's just too many spots to really call out him. I mean, it was just begin to end great. Yeah. What's gonna start? So we can't start with Adrian never just going ham like that. You'll be exhausted about two minutes in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I call all the spots. I remember every single one of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I only I watched the match once too. I, I, I mean, I just don't go through the list. I mean, I mean, I would call my, probably my favorite one when Adrian Neville hit that middle rope on corkscrew on him. It was like it was like the Phoenix Flash that Seth did <laughs> on uh, Cena, but he's never like I could do it from the middle rope. <laughs> and it looked better than what Seth did because Seth finished on. Um, he didn't land directly on Cena. No. I mean, Neville's on with perfect, though. I mean, if you could do that red arrow, I mean, still can't compare to that. <laughs> then I like the drop kick that um, Balor did on Neville on the outside. Man, <laughs> what the fuck? I'll say this. I'll say this. After that, man, somebody, somebody actually asked the question, like, how in the world does Finn Balor does that? Does his move out yeah. killing somebody? Because you can't stump on somebody's chest like that. It's, like, well, it's how he lands. He lands with his knees bent and his weight back. So Yeah. He basically falls off of you when he hits, so he said it'll hurt like hell, but it won't injure you. Yeah. Well, what about Low Key? So, Low Key's been doing that shit for years. Nobody. No, somebody who I guess who never seen. Well, I guess when he was, what was his name Prince David back then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess somebody who never seen it, cause I never seen that move before. You mean that, the Warriors way? Yeah, that's how the way you can stump on somebody's chest like that and that, not kill them. That move's been on so many SmackDown games. <laughs> Yes. I seen it, but I always thought it was a fantasy move because we didn't do it. Yeah, like when Loki and Caval, that's why Loki yeah. and Caval, I mean, Caval's such a big deal on the NXT, too. Cause don't smack, I think on the smack that guess you literally just stomp on the dude's chest like it was normal to walk off. Yeah. You don't fall. <laughs> you do it, and you, like, roll off to the other side. And yeah, it's like you directly stepping on them. I mean, like, you go to a tight roll. Bam! <laughs> you go and, that, and that one with Hideo 
came in and he was using it the first few weeks to finish people off. I was like, sooner or later, you can't have that as a finisher. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, battle, that's battle's move. Look, Even though he haven't did the other move, I don't know they're going to let him do it. What other move? What's you know, like move? with that one arm on the hood. It's like a brain buster. Oh, yeah. Oh, Did God. dropping on the head? I don't, like. I could have swore he'd done it before. I haven't seen it yet. Like, it's like a reverse brain buster DDT thing? Yeah, the last person I seen do it was AJ Styles, but that was in New Japan. Fucking, <laughs> Ben Belor's done that move before. He did it the fucking, what's the, uh, one of the, uh, one of the guys what, from the Ascension. The way you describing okay. it, it sounds almost like Gold does the original curtain call he used to do back in the day. No, it's like, you know what a regular brain bus did, right? It's yeah. like that, but he grabs it like this and he hooks his arm and he lifts him up. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, I think he has done oh, it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's like a brain buster. Uh, I guess, like, I think it is a brain buster, but, you know, you can do it without being a brain buster. Yeah. I think I know every time. Now, he did it before, I believe. Mm-hmm. My favorite spot in the match was something I've never seen where he never did the Red Arrow and Balor put his knees up and rolled them up. Because normally, when he when oh, he go to the top oh. rope and, you know, they move out the way, he doesn't do a shooting star prince. He don't oh, never do the Red Arrow. You mean the Bloody Sunday, right? <laughs> <laughs> Lifting single underhook DDT? Yeah. Okay. I got you. I haven't like that's his finisher too. I haven't seen it. No, nah, he did he did a reverse version of it. Yeah, I've been oh. seeing that. That's oh, pretty cool okay. too. I like that move too. So it's an arm hook reverse brain. Bro. Disgusting. Yeah. That, that'll kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but this match, twenty out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. yeah I, I, I second that. That was, <laughs> that was good. Of course there should be an asterisk between N and then, about Finn Balor. It didn't look like that drop kick when he drop kicks him from the middle oh, of the ring shit. and they hit they, yeah, they fly. They, they fly like, too <laughs> much. Look like that one in fitness in that. Look at the jet. How much time did they get? They got thirteen minutes and forty five seconds. That's pretty yeah. good. Pretty good time. Switch for a two hour show. Yeah. yeah. Alright, um let's bring on the next match. Unless you got some more spots to call out. Uh, Alright, cool. <laughs> next match is Sasha Banks versus the champion Charlotte versus Bailey versus Becky Lynch. For the fatal four way for the NXT women's championship. And just like almost every takeover, the women's match been my favorite one on the show. This was a show stealer. That's this sure. match got nineteen out of ten for me. <laughs> I, I'm be, glad. I, I, it would be 21 to Sasha still ratchet. <laughs> Sasha's not ratchet now. I've said that about like 80 times. She's still ratchet. She is not ratchet. Sasha's ratchet. <laughs> no, she's not. Sasha's ratchet. No, she, she's, she's a same move, actually. She, I think. She's a thought. She ain't no thought. I'm calling her. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was Oh, God damn. She, she's seen the light. Sasha's ratchet. <laughs> she has seen the light. She's walked the same room. Sasha's not ratchet. Feel. I still hate it. But that's the one match I hate. I, oh, didn't, no I, I, I wouldn't. Didn't then who's like the masked watch. man that sweeps her away? Oh, wait. They don't exist. No, right. <laughs> damn Canadians. <laughs> but this well, was I'm another, out of beer. There was, an, there was another match I was room for Bailey. Man. I swore she was actually going to win. That I match. I'm glad she did. I want to see Bailey in a one-on-one match get the title. I was. I'm glad if she got it, but I was pulling for Becky Lynch. Same it's, here. It's not. It's not Becky time. Somehow Becky, because she's going to be down there for a while. She Becky she puts on a spot that amazes me, but she up. But somehow the match, she felt like she was just the fourth wheel in that match for some reason. Um, Charlotte did what she did. I, oh, the great. Of course, the greatest spot of that match was that weird. Cold breaker on Sasha that was assisted by Charlotte. Oh yeah, the one that Bailey did. Bailey was on Bailey was on she point was, this match. Mm-hmm. She got back in the ring and I mean Bailey jumped the uh, got Sasha in the cold breaker. I mean all three of them went down. I'm like, I'm, I don't know what to call this move. And I think the crowd went insane when they did that. I'm like, it was great. This I was like, everybody got these spots in it. Like, That's the one thing I yeah. like. If anybody got the left spots, it was Charlotte. She didn't really need the spot. Yeah, she didn't need it. Shara did go ham when she did, when everybody was outside the ring and she actually jumped out the ring. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know if she could do that. But they have, but she, they have Sasha would have died. Again, <laughs> yeah, for I, real. I, I'm glad there were two women there because if it was just one, she probably would have died. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Hey, at least she tried to die. It ain't the first time she did. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, it, it, this was the, yet again the show stealing match of the night. Yeah. Yeah, imagine what TNA used to do. Who? Remember with the main mean? roster women it, can do because they actually it, get this wrestled. This was before what, what, TNA. I mean, the knockout division was the beautiful people division, right? Because that's when it was starting to go downhill. This fat shit. Like, well, <laughs> I, have, I have hope for the women um the main roster because everybody's coming out of NXT can wrestle. Oh, Kevin Steen used to be skinny. 
Hey, look what happened to Paige, though. She was in a receiving the end of a 10 second match. Not 30. But, been, what I'm saying, but what I'm saying about that, though, is that. <laughs> but she's been Paige five can minutes. wrestle. Yeah. Paige, Natalia can wrestle. That's probably it on the main roster. Total, Div- Total Divas is killing Natalia. Yeah, AJ. But that's, that's beside the point. Nikki has. has uh, Alicia Fox got balance. that one spot. It's like, yeah, that thing about it. Nikki has improved, but you would never know. You would Reeves, never know. Breeze improved as well, but, but I mean, she's not better than Nikki. But once again, I can't really say that. I don't even know because they don't, be, they they don't, don't get the time. It. They don't get the time, so you just don't know. But that's why, like, you look at the NXT women where they're getting all this time, so we know these women can wrestle. That's why I'm pissed off with what happened with Emma. Yeah, hey, yeah, her gimmick hey, was a dying you, call. Hey, she <laughs> could go. The only reason she was over in NXT was because she could wrestle. Hey, you did call that. You said, oh, they're going to Emma to take the L. Next thing you know, I I was thinking about getting a drink, and next you know, Emma <laughs> took the L. You know what? That was shit was so funny. I left my ass off, Kyle. Like, uh, cause I think you was the one who said, "Wait, Emma, uh, why is the one who said, hey, Emma in the ring now?" And I was like, uh, "Emma just there to take the L." And thirty seconds <laughs> later, Emma took the L. I also took that. Okay, Paige is getting her entrance, and then they're like, "Oh, now we're gonna hit a commercial break, and then when we get back, we're gonna show you Sting." I'm like. Why the why the fuck are they in the ring? Hey, after that, I thought there was a match going on. What's supposed to be going on? That's when I said Paige got to be bored as hell right well, now. She been sitting out there for a good Paige five minutes. Good, I mean, Paige got a good theme, but dog, did she well, want to sit there listen to her five minutes? Well, that that sentence is then Vince hates women. Anyway, you got to. Well, remember <laughs> thirty well, seconds. Well, remember his son-in-law did say Vince loves cocks. <laughs> and on that yeah. note, um. <sighs> Do you have anything else to say on the on the Fatal Four Way Women's Match? Yeah, yeah I was, I was just happy Sasha won yeah. because she deserved it. Ratchet. For the third and you time, know what? I hate I missed it. And you know what? <laughs> this is my opinion. I think it was. I think Sasha's more ready than any of them down there to be on the main roster. Agreed. Even oh, no. more than Charlotte. Oh. I mean, Charlotte's good, but Charlotte will get probably <laughs> Charlotte. Get first. This is just what I'm saying. Look at Charlotte's character. What is it? She's Ric Flair's daughter. Yeah, they did. Yeah, Sasha they has a it. character, so I think Sasha's more ready because when she gets to the main roster, she already got something to work with. Yeah, but the problem yeah, Charlotte, is they gotta give her a gimmick, which we know is gonna be crap. But the problem with Sasha is that she's just gonna be Mean Girl Diva number one thousand yep, on she's the main gonna roster. Be, yeah, she's because gonna be ratchet gonna bitch strip, number three thousand. They're <laughs> going to strip everything that made Sasha unique outside yeah. of being another bitch heel diva. But this is what I was going to say about that. Remember when I had that stupid idea about why Cameron should get the title because everybody hated her? Because she could be that ghetto chick? Because I ain't never seen that done yet. Sasha could do the exact same thing I said, but she's much better than Cameron, (laughs) and it will work. Yeah, but Cameron's more naturally annoying and shit. So she'd be a better heel. I'm pretty, she can't I'm pretty sure Sasha can pull that off. And she's going to kill somebody. I, she's I, already already doing I am 100% sure but Sasha can, can pull that off. Cameron could possibly get somebody killed in the damn ring. Yeah, but Cameron, I mean, the reason I had said it for Cameron yeah. in the first place. My Think bad, of right. a safety issue. The reason I said it for Cameron in the first place is because everybody hates this woman for so many reasons. It, okay. won't, it would just work. Yeah, but, but, but here's the thing, though, between <laughs> Sasha and Cameron. Fun. Um, whenever I hear Sasha talk, I don't want to just say, please, someone shove a dick in her mouth. Make her shut the <laughs> fuck up. Well, damn. Cameron, you don't like, watching man. Total Divas, you just want, every time Cameron opens her mouth, some, I just wish somebody was to say, will you please shut the fuck up? Yeah, Even that's... when she, unless she's, like, being, like. Why do you watch that shit, and why are you bringing this to our show? Because Next match, God damn it. It has to do with the pay-per-view. Next First, match, he... God damn it. I know, but maybe... I think I have a reason why he, he watches. Yes, uh, the concept. He goes to, he's been to four, four years of college. He went to graduate school for a year. He's just taking some time off. He's with a, a girl that annoys him and, and by proxy annoys us. Maybe he has to take some time off, give his brain some rest hey. and watch up his I'm, okay, okay, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. I'm dating a natty without an Uncle Brett, okay? <laughs> That's <laughs> hey, our next like, match. Oh, wait, before we go to the next match. Also, the last part was the handshake and hug it in. Sasha almost broke hair in the middle of the ring. Yeah, I'm so glad that. Um, actually, Charlotte did too. That's why oh, I'm glad Charlotte pushed her. And then realized the last time, whoa, 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 stop. Wait, breaking character. <laughs> this is a fight. This is That's wrestling. Why I, That's why this I this is not it, a sport. Enough of the sportsmanship shit. Who gives a fuck? No. no the thing Hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out. It just 
go know? with hey, it does go to Triple H say kind of blurry line between face and heels. Yeah, but they yeah, that situation was. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah. think yeah. Sasha was going to get that opportunity, yeah. though. I don't know. And she got it, and they're best friends. So, of course, I mean, any man with the name. What was this? I was looking at this shit. Any man with the name of his fancy maneuver using the F5 call it deep sea diverticulitis <laughs> is a douche. <laughs> you have to be a douche. So we're talking about the next match now. And let's talk about the next match. It was Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn for the NXT Championship. Damn, I almost thought Maji Vu versus Vegeta. Since I didn't watch the <laughs> I've only seen through word, heard and seen through word of mouth and typing respectively. That uh, Sami Zayn got powerbombed eight times. <laughs> That's all I've been reading. That doesn't even describe it. I, the, 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 so what was it? Just a twenty minute one sided ass whooping? No, no. no okay, they no, tried no. to play it like like okay, the Brock Lesnar um, scene yeah. thing halfway through the match, but it wasn't like that. Who were who the other announcer besides Rob? I Me mean, now. I'm about to damn call ever Rob back. Who the other announcer? That's what they make it on bring up Brock Lesnar scene. All that. Stop doing that. Think of Corey Graves. Was it Corey Graves? Or was it Riley? No, it was Corey Graves. I hope it's not that, Riley. That's their team now. It's, See, it's, it's Albert Corey Graves and um, I don't, I keep forgetting another dude's name. See, it better not. It, Cole Junior. I call him Cole Junior. <laughs> it better not have been Dan Alex Riley because that dude ha- he talking about championships. He doesn't even know what a championship feels like. <laughs> <laughs> he was Mrs. Bitch for that's the fucking six months. He don't know. He, he, he was called WWE champion. Yeah, he yeah, he was. Hey, if it wasn't for him, men would have lost the title the day he got it. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But still a bitch. Yeah, he was a bitch. <laughs> wasn't it, it wasn't it one side that Cena brought, but damn, Kevin Kevin Owens was destroying him. And somewhere in the middle of the match, some fan probably already drunk. I was like, this dude was yelling on camera, kill Kevin, kill. And I was like, <laughs> dude, y'all, he, I was like, I was like, y'all know why else why that's not on the shirt? Kill Kevin, kill. Think about the letters. <laughs> <laughs> Those are KKK. Like, man. <laughs> it was only like that one loud fan that was yelling. At him. I think it was outside the ring. And the dude was going, kill Kevin, kill. I'm like, you know what? Oh, they did a great job of making Kevin Owens hate it because they chose him to attack Sammy Zayn. He, they were still split. Did you hear the fight, Owens fight? And then they were doing all Sammy Zayn chants. God damn it. The only right. way you can sell that on a fucking t shirt is if on the front it says kill and the back it says Kevin kill. Because that's, <laughs> that's the only way you're going to sell that shirt. <laughs> that is the only, the only way, way you're going to sell that shirt. Kill like, Steen, kill. I'm surprised with whoever said kill Kevin Kill, I thought it would, he'd be one of those type of assholes who would be chanting Husky Harris at fucking Bray Wyatt. Probably. So he could have been saying kill Steen, kill, kill Steen, kill. I wanted he, I'm like, okay. He's That's saying better the kill, than Kevin. He's saying the kill, the kill chant, like obviously he know about kill Steen, kill. So the way he switched to kill Kevin, kill, I was like, he already drunk. <laughs> Yeah, a lot, a lot of people can't get into that Owens yet, so they always go fight Kevin, fight off, kill Kevin, kill. I'm just getting drunk. I like I want to see kill Kevin, kill. But oh. but he said Kevin, since Kevin always got to be such an asshole about what he was doing, I'm like okay, I guess I will keep him here because all the guys who fight like that and win cleanly as hell, they tend to go neutral like bro. But no matter if you what you try to do. I'm gonna tell you what I liked about this match. I'm, I'm even, I'm going even back before the match. The video package that led up to the match that they showed on the last NXT before. Yeah, I don't it was know. so good because it, it basically told what Kevin Owens was talking about. He was like, "Yeah, me and Sammy, we we were friends, but I said I'll fight anybody and everybody to make a uh, better living." Because he, he, the one part I liked about that uh, interview is when he said, "Sammy, uh, Sammy Zane only cares that he cut himself off because he knew he was gonna lie. He was, then he rewarded himself and said." Mm. Then he said, Sammy only has to worry about himself. He had to stop himself from saying that Sammy only cares. Like, he cares for Sammy, but the most important thing to Kevin Owens is his family and making sure they are right. <laughs> so he knew he could get under his head by by um, by um attacking Sammy. Knew that Sammy was going to go himself into the championship match. He put himself right in position to win the title just that quick. Yep. Yeah. But that was the family part. I'm like, man, like, see, him being the biggest hill, like, He's gonna have to sit and keep doing dirt, what dirty ish things. I'm like, him fighting for that reason, that's gonna pull pull him out of being healed. The NXT definitely a dominant heel. Yeah, they, they but they were desperate for a heel. So I'm like, put Tyson Kidd back there. 
fact. I mean, here's the thing about Tyson Kidd. He lost to those faces yeah, all the time, yeah. and he ran out of championship matches. Right, but it he worked. Can, and he's tag champions now. I know, but I'm just saying it yeah. worked. Yeah, I'm, it worked miracles, actually. He, but, he, they knew that big heel, he turned into it. And yeah, he did fast. a good job, but we had to move on for him. And Kevin, on later. Fast. Then about the match, Kevin Owens won old school WWF No Mercy style. <laughs> he he <laughs> fireballed that man to losing it. He was done. His bar was black. This is not do, using <laughs> New Day for anything. Just put Kofi <laughs> Kingston down there, goddamn. Yeah, well, my favorite part of the match when when the doctor came out there, they tried to change me back. Oh, yeah. I think that's what I lost. I think that's why they said, "Man, we're gonna sue CM Punk." He had forever to actually sue this man. He didn't come up to after that tell because everybody started chanting Z Pack and folks holding Z Pack signs and stuff. What so, the like, fuck I mean, is Z Pack? It's an antibiotic that CM Punk talked about on this pod on that podcast with um, Coca Cabana. <laughs> I heard that the he actually showed the footage of him in the Royal Rumble. They're saying, uh, "I don't see a problem with his back." Why they sh- they showed a video dedicated to his ass. You, you know, you know what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, oh you know what God. happened? You know what happened? Bachamania made it said that um, well, the, you know the lesion the lesion or the bump was under his tights, so that video made no fucking sense. <laughs> oh um, CM Punk oh. said that he even showed the scar where that. It, it was under his tights. Oh, like, and number two, those tights are like they're wearing, like he wearing a pair of tight boxer shorts. You ain't gonna see it. Yeah, <laughs> you're not. I mean, I'm not sure what you're doing. But I'm like, did they just post a video of CM Punk's ass trying to see they have a bump there? Like, come on, man. <laughs> They were trying to prove a point. All right, can we move on? Can we move on? A lot of people uh, said they didn't like the finish to the match because he won the title that way. I'm like, that's something different. That's all you people complain about. Y'all want to see different shit? There you go. He won by no mercy. It was different. (laughs) Yeah, it was different. It wasn't cheesy different. (laughs) That nigga's ball was in danger. He didn't win by roll up. (laughs) He literally beat his opponent. He couldn't continue. I mean, in Kevin's defense, he powerballed him, he pinned him, Sammy rolled over. So he wasn't gonna stay down. So the only th- way, thing he could think to do was just powerball the shit out of him. He kept powerball the shit out of him. Think about, think about, yeah, the thing about it, Kelly he was like, "Fuck, I ain't even gonna try and pin no more. I'm gonna just keep powerball me your ass until they stop me." Right. <laughs> That's what they did. You know, WWE. You know, as usual, it's not new to WWE to, for them to change the rules with story. Cause I remember somebody else got basically lost that way. They didn't lose their talent because uh, they weren't pinned or submitted. But so, the thing about it. You no, no, that's not before WWE did it. Before the president was just out. The president was just out, and the referee called off the match. So since the referee called off the match, the title changed hands because the wrestler didn't lose. The referee stopped it. Okay, that's stupid when they did it that time because obviously if your opponent cannot continue the match, but he loses the title. It's because it's it obvious, is, though. No, because the, cha- the champion has, remember, the champion revenge is you got to beat the champion by making them pin, by pinning or making them tap. So they're going strictly by the rules that the champion must be pinned or tapped out. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying so, of, on that point so of when case, they did it. That so was this, stupid, though. No, it just, as I said, it called the champion's advantage for a reason. But if your opponent can't continue the match because you hurt him, that's not your fault. That's but, what you're supposed to do. But did you make him pin or tap? So, I mean, the champion of energy, you, unless it's a stipulation, you got to beat the champion by pinning him. Or making a tap. So by the by the letter of the rule is, back like I said, he don't lose the title. But in this case, he lost but the referee. I know. I know we're gonna talk about that later. But the Rus- that's basically like when Rusev beat Cena. That was the same thing. On no title chain, the Rusev been beating well, his opponent because they're well, not you know, they're not continuing well, the fight. You know, well, you know, you put him in submission hole, you go out. The referee just does the hand thing, and you can't get your hands up. <laughs> you just call yeah, it the match. They stopped that a long time ago. They haven't even done that in forever. Actually, that, every time they do that, you know they're just going to stop it, too. I guess <laughs> I guess because of the fact that they, now I guess the crowd wouldn't get what that means. So that's what point gives it like. like. I know that like that's interesting. WWE decided to um, change that rule up. The last thing I'm going to say about the, the Kevin Owens that the, the interview he did after he won the title is when, like, he was talking about, like, all the sacrifice he did and, all his, like, that his parents in attendance, that he can win the championship. He was basically crying. He was so happy that he finally won the title. I was thinking the whole time, did you see how you won the title? <laughs> like, mean, did, did you see no five power balls? <laughs> I well, Brock didn't even win his title. That dominated. I mean, it looked like you should have had sympathy for Kevin Owens because he all the sacrifices and stuff he made to get to the WWE finally paid off. He's a champion. 
He done it for his family and the kids and everything. But then you got to look about how he won the fucking title. Hey, <laughs> he was hungry. He wanted it. I mean, I don't he blame. Him. He I don't blame him one bit how he won the title. It's just that it was just it was just funny to me because he was it was coming off as a face then. Hmm. Well, I mean, but if you think you about it, you see how you just killed a man. He's a face. I mean, in a way, if you think about it, only thing that makes him a heel is the fact that he just beat the brakes off of Sammy Zayn. That's why I said if they want to keep a dominant heel. He got to ride that line and say. He ran in line of going neutral. That's the problem. They won't keep him heel. That's why I say I like the character because he's technically a heel, but he done nothing wrong, really. That's what, that's what I was saying. Like he has, they had to be careful. They want to make him the dominant heel. He even said that promo on last week. He was like, "I ain't lie about anything. I said I will fight anybody and everybody." Well, then he like Finn Balor, pick a date. I will meet you there. He ain't <laughs> running from him. I like some people. Hey, I ain't hard to find. I'm just hard. Just ask my hoops. <laughs> anyway, let's go to WWE Fast Lane. Come up with better names for these shits, man. Well, I get where they come. I, I thought I was dumb too until I really put it in I, I get Fast well, Lane. It sounds so sort of cool. No, 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 Wait, no, y'all no, y'all come up stu- y'all come up some bad Fast names for no, this it's shit. No, WWE Fast Lane. I ain't oh. <laughs> I agree that names is horrible. I know these names be horrible. You get perspective. Get, you get it. I get what they're trying to get at, but I like yeah. I could just call it the road to WrestleMania. They call, they, 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 call, they call it the fast lane, but shit, still five more weeks left to get that bitch. Yeah, so, that's, that's I mean, if they want H O V, they should just call it the road to WrestleMania. So that have been just done like that. Or yeah. we just don't have a pay per view in February. That would solve everything. Yeah, yeah. That would work. <laughs> we could have had this, that. What we had um Sunday night, we should have had on a raw. Because basically, that what that was. Yeah, fifty a forty five dollar. You mean a nine ninety nine raw? Nah, Forty five. You, nah, you, you like, don't have internet. Forty five. Okay. You want to lose money? Internet. internet. If you don't have internet, no, yeah. yeah. You don't have a good internet. Yeah. Hey, if you're paying forty five dollars to get a pay per view, you probably have service that you can get internet. James. <laughs> or you're probably slow as hell. James. Um. <laughs> or you don't sound like. Or you live in India. Okay. I mean, what was the first right. match? I don't the know. The first match was the. The remnants of Team Cena versus the Authority. Oh lord! What was the point? <laughs> I didn't watch yes. this, but what was the point? I don't know. Who, who who made so, this match? This match was made fucking um third on uh, SmackDown actually. Yeah. It's SmackDown and, before, which was stupid as fuck. Yeah. Oh, actually, as I typed it, I was like, that was a pointless match, and then the the match ended, and then it became not so pointless. It became more of a, a reason to bring back the guy we're gonna talk about after we say what happened during this match. What did happen during this, this match? This match was just a way to justify paying these boys checks for this. Picture. Yeah, oh, nothing happened. Uh, Big Show knocked out Ziggler when he was already tied up. Oh, yeah, that shit looked so then funny. Then he got choke slammed. It, well, it was kind of a half ass. We're in 2015 and Kane pinned somebody. Yeah. Okay. Right, 2015 <laughs> and Big Show and Kane are, and then are they, winning matches. Then uh, right. somebody got curved from. I can't remember. I, bet you, I think Kane. They all three of them got no. No, two of them. Two of them got curved from. Then on Ryback's right turn, Randy Orton came back. I think Kane and Big well, Show should be mad for opening up a show. They've been main eventing for weeks. <laughs> Why I mean, I mean, no months. Kane and Big Show been in the main event. They should be pissed off that they were quit in the opening match. Hey, must they be in the I main event? I feel for you, Kane and Big Show. Hey, must they be in the main event? Why in the world Roman Reigns get a title shot? Where's Kane and Big Show shot? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> they been main event everything. Yeah, they they eliminated the most people in the damn Royal Rumble. Yeah. Man, Kane and Big Show are way more ready than Roman Reigns. I <laughs> think I'm gonna get into that. But, but why did Orton, what did Orton do? Oh, he came back and uh, he and he RKO security. Yeah, he RKO security and he RKO with uh, Kane, I believe. Yeah. Did he RKO Big Show? Nah, nah. Big Show so, he, so he's oh, coming he back full t- yeah, full time face. Then. And Seth popped running like a bitch. Cool yeah. Then Seth. Then Seth. Uh, he was about to get caught with that DDT. Talk, but, well, you know what? When they made Seth run, they really make him run. They yeah, never no. told me he runs. He runs out the building. Then Seth activated his uh, his uh, run like a bitch ability. Which is a 99 rating. <laughs> it's legendary. It's legendary. Him. 15 on fucking Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glad. GTA, he went legendary. I'm just before. glad I had some influence on Seth. What, run like a bitch? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes run you gotta like run a like a bitch. Yeah, that, but that's why he's a future. Cause he don't be able to see it. You strong. You can't defend yourself. Seth Rollins does crossfit. He can defend himself. <laughs> oh god. I mean, still thinking about the future, man. Yeah. You wouldn't think about the future oh, on no, Instagram. Man. Yeah, is that everything about the match? Jesus Christ. <laughs> is that basically that? Man, man. No, that match was worse. Uh, it was pointless. And they gave yeah. the The authority needs to fucking die. I'm sorry. It, it just I, needs to go. That's why they need to ask I am so, I'm so tired of it. 
Yeah, this ain't even this ain't Uncle. even IWC rage. Or, just, or actually, wait, 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 constant, wait, oh, yeah. wait. Yeah. Let the beer flow. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 it's just pointless. It just. I agree. It just. It just needs to go, man. <laughs> when, when Cena got rid of it. It should stay gone. This is like the Lazarus yeah. of fucking wrestling stables. It needs to go. <laughs> yeah, it needs to die. I am so damn tired of Kane and Big Show. Jeez. Every time I see that, I just feel the I just feel the life getting sucked out of me watching it roll. Actually, they if they're not if they're not gonna add a stipulation to Sting and Triple H, they need to add one to Orton and Seth where the authority goes away. Yeah, they it need must to go away die. It has to end at WrestleMania. Unless fucking Randy Orton being a double agent gonna take out everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Why the authority is back out? You just erase the whole purpose of that Survivor Series because you because you, you, you know made it irrelevant. You know, yeah, just like they you notice they took the whole the authority involvement totally out of the Sting storyline, which makes no sense because that's how it started was with the authority. Because, because I think the authority no longer includes Triple H and his wife. They just it said, does, no, they, it does, it does. I know it does, but the way it acts like it no longer involves yeah. them. Yeah, because it's, it's just, more these, than the big show. It's just yeah. these three and these yeah. two yeah. albatrosses. Yeah, <laughs> see? But, My favorite word, man. <laughs> albatross. But hey, Jay, Jay, Jay do a great job. Uh, My biggest complaint with the uh, authority is just, uh. I am just so fucking tired <laughs> of Triple H and having 20 minute problems. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking raw. Right. I like how Randy yeah. pointed that out. I'm and Rick Albatross. I mean, oh. we've been going through <laughs> this since 2002, for the love of God. <laughs> no, 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 I got bear. I'm Rick Ross. Uh, Albatross. Uh. That was good. Where are those shrimps? Sting screwed <laughs> over the authority in Survivor Series. Now it just seems like Triple H and Sting just have personal beef yeah. and no longer about the authority. And like, that's huh? stupid. That's constantly And there's no stipulation about the authority being online. You took, Triple H basically took WCW from you. You take the authority from Triple H. Yeah, they need to add it either, or either add it to Rollins and, and Orton. One of those two matches. And Sting be the one man with the power to bury with a bat. But anyway, <laughs> uh, next let's one. go on to go. Uh, All right, I just don't. We don't have to talk about the match from your reaction. I just want to know what led to them breaking up and why this match occurred. Because go, I have is, not been paying attention. Simply rivalry. Having, that's all. Yes, it is. and Stardust is having an identity crisis. Yes. Yeah, Stardust went off the deep end. Yeah, Stardust. It, it started. He like, yeah, he pushed his dad. And Apparently, he's from the fifth dimension too. <laughs> well, <laughs> that his, no, his, that what, shit had weak. What, what, did, right did Dustin Rose from come on Raw one week and just, did, did he show what, up what? on Raw one week and just go hang kids like boy, there's something wrong with you? He already knows something wrong with you. Uh, <laughs> he did one time. Was it season three of NXT? He's like, man, I raised some weird kids. But all that happened a little bit of back and forth and a roll up. They gave their first match. That was on this fucking show. Uh, and then Gold just went over in the match. This was a, this should have been a one and done. That was a thing. batch. That was my, my bad. A botch call from the referee man. That, that shit yeah. confused the hell out of me. I'm like, what? What's going on? Because it's like one, two, three. I don't I think mean, the match. Uh, what the match was the end of? I think yeah. it was. It's just the referee um, fucked up the call. He's fired. Next match. It wasn't that bad of a I fuck. Know, up. It was saying. actually a decent hey. little match. I just hate hey. that it was you. Like, hey, it could have been on Raw, and it was you hey. for. What 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 were their names? I forget. But they mess up one promo. Vince wants them buried. The Ascension. Yeah, yeah they they mess up one promo. They want them buried, so that referee should get fired. I mean, you already got the mark of death on you from Vince, and you mess up a promo. They wear the mark of death on their face. <laughs> See, this is already branded. As long as I get Goldust versus Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania, yeah, I'll be all right. right. Are you with that? And somebody said, and I agree, Goldust for WrestleMania, since it's Mania, bring out the robe, the gold flakes, and all that stuff. Yeah, and the pyro. I mean, screw the budget cut. For real. I yeah, mean, I for agree. real, it's I Mania. Yeah. Have Goldust come out his full Goldust attire. Yeah, but with you the know what? screen. It's, no, it's going to be a problem because WrestleMania outside this year. They're not going to have that match later in the card when it gets dark. So that Wait, it'll where's be Mania this year? Oh, damn, it's California. California, it's gonna yeah, it's going to be daylight. It won't get dark yeah, it's to probably, 7 And it's going to be hot because it's already in the 80s. And it's not even spring yet. <laughs> so well, we got, well, we got no several weeks. So it's probably going to be normal San Francisco temperatures by then. Damn, yeah, and then leave out stale, man. I hope I get stale. <laughs> yeah, for real. <sighs> All right, yeah, next match. Yeah, what's the next match? Next match is Tyson Kidd and Cesaro with Natalia versus the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso. 
with, with Naomi for the Tag Team Championships. This is one match that actually shocked me. Yeah. Besides the main event, this is my favorite match on the It was a pretty good match. It wasn't, good. it wasn't as good as the one they had on Raw, but it was pretty good. That's See, me. Well, you mean the one that just happened? Yeah, the yeah, Jeff yeah, yeah, I agree See, with that's that. my problem with the damn, with this whole match. I've seen this match so many fucking times already. In some combination or some form Yes, of a main event, superstars, they give this shit away on free TV. They need to stop doing that type of shit. You know what, I agree with you, but at least for the pay-per-view, they gave them more time. Yes, they did give them, gave them yeah, that I'm cool see, with. See, the see, thing this, I like about, go ahead, go ahead. This is what happens when you don't build up their tag team. Exactly. And then you then the one tag team you did build up, you find a side to break up. Or bury them. Yeah. This, this is what happens when you don't build up a new day. This is what happens when you don't build up uh, the ascension. The ascension. No, this is what happens when you don't. Anyone. This is when you don't build up. At least that Kurt, uh, Slater and what's it? Slater Gator. At least that could have been. You could at least made them part of the tag team division. No, you don't build up nobody. Now you're stuck with two, two just two teams. Well, at least you trade out Slater and it's, got, the it's starting to get yeah, stale. Yeah, I, I, I if it wasn't for the Usos being all hyped up and pumped up. The tag team division would be shit. Yep. And you know what? It's Straight for the Usos, period. We probably won't even have a tag team division. Yeah. Because yeah, you can't do nothing single with each one of them. I mean, they got to be a team. It was yeah. a good match. And the tag team, they only were looking spectacular. But that's that's not a part of the match. What? That's a good yeah, what, what I was going to say earlier, what, what I like about Kid and Cesaro, they actually tag team wrestle. Yeah, They're they not did. two people who just stuck together. And for it to be a team, nope. they have tag team move. They tag yep. in and out. Yep. They have a strategy. They work on body parts. Yep. They wrestle like a team. Bah, bah, God, That's why I'm glad it. they pulled the trigger and gave them the belt. Yeah, and yep. they won clean too. It surprised um, me, sort of. And I'm um, hoping, like I said, in this case, my hope means two out of ten that actually gonna do something legit with the tag team titles. But more on the titles later on. I'm scared that we're just gonna get a fatal four way match at yeah, WrestleMania. Me too. WrestleMania, I, I'll get on the WrestleMania later. <laughs> All right, when was the confrontation between Sting and um, uh, Triple H? Uh, what is your, what is put it here? Don't bring a hammer to a bat fight. That's <laughs> the best way to put it. Sting made Triple oh, H. Oh, it like was after the uh, Divas match. Fuck them. Anyway, um, yes, I agree with that. That shit was stupid. What was the uh, the confrontation? Triple H beat the shit out of Sting. He go get a sledgehammer. Sting pull out a bat. And that's it. And Triple H just scared off. It's backcountry, Bob. He, he just beat the shit out of you. That should have been no talking. That should have just been you swinging with the back. Well, we could just touch on the dude's match a little bit. And hey, by a little, I mean... I thought we was tell. after the confrontation. See, we no, the confrontation that, was after. Um, the yeah, but we had already started with the confrontation, so I kept going. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, like I said, Sting's going to be the one man with enough power to bury with a bat. Yeah, but he still he need a show. Sting made Triple H bit look like a... He, he yeah, made I mean, Triple H's bitch level go up 12 points. I mean, yeah. Steve put that bat to his neck like he had a sword in his hand or something. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, like it was a gun. I mean, you like, you like, moving and I shoot. Triple H <laughs> grabs the fucking bat. Is that your neck? What are you going to do with it? I'm like, he's, he's kicking him in the nuts. He's Chimay's in the like, nuts kicking range. like, all like this. Like you want to that. hands up, don't swing. You don't want to well, you don't want to, you want you don't want to take any chance of grabbing the bat because he was in he was in a uh, nut kicking range. Yeah. So you don't want, you don't want to. Take hey, Sting was in nut kicking range, man. Old school Triple H, hands <laughs> his hands up, bow. I used to love that little. Blow. Once he dropped the sledge, he could have just said, "Drop the sledge and grab the bat." All in one quick motion. Yeah, but then he he tried. Sting was about to walk out, and that's when it happened. He hit him with the bat. That shit was funny. Then he hit death drop. Yeah. I wish Triple H grow some hair so like Sting could do like he Yeah, I was just about to say that too. I like, but he was really missing this hell because he had to grab him by the face or the chin or whatever. Grab him by the nose. Grab him by the nose. He's a target. <laughs> but really, grip on him. Really <laughs> wasn't much said. Yeah, he by the nose. It really wasn't much said to be talked about because it was just basically what you would expect. Yeah, if we knew all this was just to set up the WrestleMania match. And yeah. guess what happened? They set up the rest of man. They announced it that fucking night. They don't make no sense. A bit of stipulation about the authority. They, yeah, they should at least talk that out. The whole confrontation should have had the match in place, the stipulations, and everything. Well, we had five weeks, 
five weeks well, of they got five to weeks do that. Yeah, so, to do that, so. Five weeks of 20 minute promos. Jesus Christ. <laughs> One hour of right, promos. I guess we should. That was and don't forget crazy. about the extra 30 minutes of uh, video package. Did they, do, uh, did they yeah. do that stupid twin switch shit? No. no. They, do, they can't they, do that shit they no more. They can't do that shit Thank God. Nikki, next match is Nikki Bella. I know they could. Featuring still. Brie Bella versus Paige it's for the Divas Championship. Oh, shit. Uh, How much yeah. time they got first? 5.35. And I think it ended in a roll. But that's a, that's a lot of time for the main roster. Yeah, no, and I think it ended also ended in a roll up. I don't. Oh yeah, it was yeah, a roll up with the tights. tights. And uh, then Paige was bitching like over you, cheater. yawn, boring. Can't the crap. Somebody said yes. something about bullying on the chat. That was yeah, that me. Was him and he. Yes, man, I don't get it. And they, I, they're bu- they're oh, no, bullying her, like, man. They're <laughs> bullying Paige because yeah. she's like she's very pale and shit. They use um suntan spray on her, and they fucking took yeah, the clothes. They, and they, they, the fairy. they need to it's stop. Bullying. They need to stop it because last time I remember this shit happened, my girl left for TNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they just now will stop doing it now for they ruin another the, great it, it, hot chick no, leaving. Don't have a problem with Paige being um okay, well, being tan. My, but, I mean uh bright. They do have a pro- they did have a problem with Mickey Jamie and Fat though. I think they should he have their star. I, per, 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 personally, I think they should have their goddamn um PG other PG um sponsorship being taken away because this is the one storyline right here. I that's mean, just me. This is retarded. I'm like y'all doing an anti bullying campaign. That's what y'all running. And y'all ain't have a, what y'all gonna have AJ Lee come back and save her from this shit. Can I believe that too? You gonna do this shit? Pull that PG shit. Yeah, fuck but that you money can't up. do with bullying because AJ is the same woman who said. Talent is a sexually transmitted. That wasn't no bullying. That was bullying. That was fact. That's just being a bitch. That was fact. That's being fact. That was fact. Next ma- speaking speaking of stupid shit, uh, bad new ver- bad news Barrett versus Dean Ambrose for the intercontinental intercontinental championship. Again, I did again again I did not watch this match. When the fuck is he going to win the pay per view match? What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? He WWE? won. He won the match already. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, he has the belt now. <laughs> he didn't win by no DQ. I said it goes back to what WWE used to do in the old school days. I had no problems. He's like. Then you have the guy who just loves to fight, crazy to fight. He doesn't give a damn about the win. <laughs> because he looks strong wherever he wins or loses. Yeah, the only one he that needs a W every once in a while. Uh, no, he doesn't. I, no, 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 no. Uh, Dean Ambrose has not looked strong at all. He looked stupid. Exactly. Dean Ambrose they have looked dumb in every fucking match. They, they have did. not saved no. him from the TV incident. I've not forgiven them for that. I know, I know, but I'm still have forgiven them for that incident. They ain't throw the man no bone talk, no voodoo magic, nothing. They let this man pull a TV and blow up in his own face. See, now, and now they go, BS one of all. Now, mm-hmm. now he lost the match by disqualification. What did you keep punching? How stupid do you have to be to not understand? You got. Five count. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Dean Ambrose has looked dumb as fuck on every goddamn match he's done ever had. But the thing is, he's still, the thing is, the most important part, he's still up there. Yeah. So, I mean, first him, he can, no, 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 he won't see, you won't see, you won't, I say, you don't see it that way, but WWE clearly does. Do they? He's barely on TV. He's on TV like five minutes. He gets just as much time as um as Adam Rose. But he's a few with Bray Wyatt. (laughs) Not Bray Wyatt. He's a few with Barrett on the Intercontinental title, and he put Dolphin in. So (laughs) I'll he. It's what I was saying earlier about the Intercontinental title being shit. They've just thrown a four way match so they can all get on the WrestleMania card. They don't give a fuck about them people. Our truth is in the damn match. He got just as much time as Adam Rose. Oh shit! That's that's an albatross. Now that was an albatross. The fact that I, warm body. the fact that I just heard a black wrestler name in a match and I'm not happy about. It. Oh my god! And just really? like, oh I my. really hate what they done with Dean Ambrose because he was white hot at one point. He yeah. should be. He should be with Roman there. I hey, stressed that a long time ago. Hey, but the Bray Wyatt feud was to get Bray Wyatt over. It didn't do nothing for Dean Ambrose. It didn't like do that, shit. He lost didn't, every match. But it didn't put Br- Dean Ambrose down anywhere. It kind of did. What the hell has he done after that? Yeah. Said, now he's on the um, way he, Barrett. He, like, yeah, they, had, yeah. they, had, they put him in a stupid segment where he walked in the snow, hey, the WWE headquarters. Then they said, then all of a sudden, I want to be on this wall of champions. I want to go win the Intercontinental but, Championship. And then look what he does. Hey, he gets but, killed you know, for being stupid. You know him being de- going to step down. He putting John Cena with the U.S. title. He I mean, goes, but against Rusev, who they pushing? But the thing is, you put him down with a mid-level title. Yeah. So you don't put two. Uh, you put Dolph down the mid level title. You just put Dolph was never down. up. Good, good, Dolph set, was never up. good segue. Because I want to talk. Clearly, clearly did tr- at least 
at least at the moment, they put, put, uh, get on top of more prestige than just talk, just tossing around like a thought everywhere. Well, that's Whoa! what they <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! They had a new conference. <laughs> he had asked each other, where the hell he is? That's, that's my point. That, that's, that's my point. The Intercontinental Championship has been shit. That, now we can Harper get to the Intercontinental Champion can, was for story we reasons might as well just, screw over Dolph. We might as well just okay. combine both of these matches because it's the same thing. John Cena about being... So all they're going to do is screw John Cena because John Cena going to win at WrestleMania. He going to win. Then he going to lose that title to somebody. Whoever he loses to is going to make John Cena look like a Bitch, regardless of how much, I, 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 oh, no, I, I agree so with how much, yes. regardless of how much he done built up this company, the, how, how much he done built up this company. As soon as he loses to somebody like, I don't know, let's say Barrett loses, they said let's give Barrett the U.S. As soon as he loses to Barrett, his stock went way down. That's the bad news for him. As you know, who should be <laughs> if he if he loses to that. Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler had those titles before. Did he increase the prestige? No, all it's gonna do is make John Cena look like a bitch. No, you lost to someone else. Here's the thing, though. Prestige. Here's the thing, though. It does nothing to these titles. If it John is. Cena wins the U.S. title and Dolph beat him, Dolph is up because he beat John Cena, not because he won the U.S. title. If they make, if it they does made, nothing to these titles. If they make the title a big deal, like they're doing, Dean Ambrose stole the title. Wade Barrett wants his title back. I mean, they, so yeah. they're making sure the title up front and center. Then. He's just holding the belt on the way to the ring. I, I agree with you on that. Because Luke Harper, they gave Luke Harper. When they gave Luke Harper, he just walked to the ring with whatever. He held, time, and then he actually. practically did like the Rock did. You remember how? Kinda like before, before Luke Harper had Dolph had it, but him and the Miz were basically passing the title around. Miz <laughs> wanted the pay per view. Dolph turned around, went right back. Then which card has it until Luke Harper gets it? Like, it didn't matter. He even had the belt on him or not. Mm -hmm. But Dolph Ziggler has been the best. Intercontinental champion because they had a story where they was so trying, where they kept like making a defendant. I'm just saying for stretch. So what's the next match? Next yeah. match is Cena versus Rusev. Now we know we did that uh, combination because both of those tiles fucking suck. Now they got people trying to get these tiles that don't need to be there. John Cena and oh, Dean Ambrose do not to need, to that that need to be there. Need to get the fuck up out of it. Rusev kicked the shit out of John Cena. <laughs> he, of course, he didn't have no kids with that. All right, that's it. But yeah, it was a suck. pretty good match. Oh, no, no, suck. no, I thought it was pretty yeah, I good. I thought it was pretty I good. Think I think it sucked. That's just my opinion. Y'all liked it, like it. that's good, but I hated it. Cena. I liked it because it's, like it's already better than the Bray Wyatt Cena feud. Yeah, Cena. I agree with that. I can agree with that. So I like it a lot better because. I I don't th I mean I think Cena's gonna win at Mania, but because I mean, LOL Cena, Cena win. But that, we've been this, saying that for about a year. But that, that was the point I was just trying to make. This got nothing to do with the U.S. title. They didn't even mention they mentioned the belt because Cena wants to be uh, wants to take the U.S. title from him because Rusev happened to be the champion. But you take out the belt, it's the same story. Rus uh, Cena wants to be the first one to beat Rusev. The belt just uh, just happened to beat him. Yeah. Yeah. The, the belt means nothing. I am going to like that Cena's going to be the U.S. champion. Yeah. And Cena's featured. So you can't ignore the belt. Oh, yeah. You I can't ignore the, the belt. You know who the, the perfect thing. person to take this title from you, Sean Cena? Heath Slater. But the thing is, but it's just like this. Who's going to take the belt it's, back from Cena? Get the, the, the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Because I was going to say, whoever beats John Cena for the belt, it's not even about the belt. It's about if they're beating John Cena. See, this is what I want. don't do a Carlito, it'll be all right. See, this is the problem. Because even after they beat John Cena, he's not going to that U.S. title is not going to be defended every night. And we that don't. that makes John Cena the bitch for losing this person that's not even fighting every night. And the title still means well, nothing. Unless they Carlito him. Like I said, brought up Carlito, I think, cheated the beat. Because whoever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He got Cause whoever yeah. beat Cena for that U.S. title is not getting their heavyweight title shot. They, and and that them? screws it up. That's that screws that's up that's the whole point of beating Cena. Let me just say, the whole point of beating say I beat John Cena is it means you put your Yourself in that upper echelon of title contention. Hey, if once you had a U.S. Yeah. title, your line to that upper echelon just got <laughs> cut off. <laughs> Before we look at this, man, here's the important thing, folks. Forgetting right now, at the top you got Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, John Cena, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton. You got all these guys up yeah, here at I the agree. top going for that one unified title. The you got to move the mid card titles up because you're yeah. not. Right now, Dave Bryan's going to get another title shot. Yeah. Cena's going to go later. back up there. I agree. Roman I agree. Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Order are all up there in that circle. I agree. So, oh, you got six guys up that top for that one title. And yeah. if Brock resigns, you got seven guys. Yeah. 
up See, that, at that one time. And plus, they put your break wide and have him beat the Undertaker at Mania. Yeah. So that means you got eight guys at that very top. Yeah, the you thing got, is, you, here, you here. got, you probably, you got the Moodle Big Card. Here, here's the, the, here's I agree with that. I agree. Yeah, they're not doing it. Here's, here's the, the issue. issue. Like, 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 I said, like, like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said on last night, I was like, let's wait to see on the Intercontinental title. But I'm just going by history. They have not done yeah, but, shit to these belts. Yeah, but, but history, they didn't have eight guys but here's that, the problem, oh, right. at that top level. That's Bray's true. going to be the new Undertaker. Undertaker was never always champion. He's either was special attraction facing whatever monster of the week, he was rarely in the title contender was, like until the, the, yeah, but the new gen- Attitude Era. Yeah, but the new generation era, they were pushing HBK, Kevin Nash, Bret Hart, and those guys. Yeah, but Undertaker, uh, so Undertaker was, was in the peripheral. That's but, what Bray's going to be. But also back then, they put Undertaker as and let me, the monster but, of monsters. But let me say one thing about Bray. They still have to show me they're going to do something with Bray. Uh-huh. He's only being built up to be handed to the Undertaker. They yeah, don't guarantee um, he's going I don't think he's going to beat the Undertaker. That's Vince's favorite wrestler. Well, if, he do, if, he, if he doesn't beat the Undertaker, Why he's going to look strong at the end of That's a guarantee. No, he's going to look strong regardless. The question is, are they going to continue? That's but, the question. But he's you, trying to take his soul. Because look what they did with Cena. He looked strong going to the feud with Cena, then they just fucked him up slowly, well, slowly. We're going to get to that main enough. event, but I just have to see the last thing. You're right, but the problem is we got the fans, and nobody pays attention to these titles. That's no matter no matter what match it is, no yes, matter who's in the match, the nobody's last, gonna pay attention. Yeah, for the last few years, last several decade, years, they just decade. pretty much said main event or bust. And now the problem is, you got two mini hot stars up top, and you bet in your mid, and then you just have, have a huge vacuum. You got to fill that void. I hear what you're saying, but let me say this: there we go to the last match. Vince just said on the podcast that the titles are just props. He based it on what he said. That's, That's what Vince Russo has been saying for like, over a decade and a half now. Yeah, but you can see it with Vince. He don't care him. about the WWE <laughs> Championship because he's let his champion sit on the couch for six months. <laughs> so, if he don't care about the WWE Championship, I'm supposed to think he gives two fucks about the U.S. and Intercontinental title? Nope. Well, the way so. the, cha- the Intercontinental Champion loses on TV almost every week in the event for the, what, the past year. But, like, the past year, Dolph Ziggler, the only Intercontinental Champion I've seen win anything. <laughs> I say, yeah, Dean's going to be in a kind of champion. I mean, he's going to lose even more. Well, Dean has the winner, the winner and loser. It don't really matter for his character. I mean, Dean has to win to be something, though. He's going to get a win eventually, but I said for his character, I, Sarah, he does. I won't be happy with just one win for Dean. That's my point, really. I because mean, Dean should be on the same when, level as Seth and Roman. They're main eventers. The only <laughs> He's a half step uh, beneath them. They say you just can't have that many buried, guys up there. He's only half step beneath them because they buried them. They, I don't see him as buried. I, I just see no. just his character. Like I said, he doesn't care. <laughs> <about him. laughs> he just wants to fight. Right no. in. He just does it in a stupid face. He said the word buried. <laughs> I mean, you put him up there. How many guys do you have at Funny. the very top right now? The last match of WWE Fastlane is Roman Reigns. I mean, Reigns oh, no. <laughs> versus Daniel Bryan. Whoever wins the match goes to the championship match. Which shouldn't have happened in the first place. Let's just begin January. Okay. January done to this. Yeah. All right. But it was the best match of the night, hands down. Dane Bryan made Roman Reigns look great, like he does with a lot of people. (laughs) And uh, the the ending sequence was pretty nice. I like the the, the knee during the middle of the match where uh, Roman Reigns kicked out at two. That was a pretty good spot. Uh, Mm -hmm. I liked... The uh, Superman punch we caught Brian, oh, Dave sure Bryan coming off the top rope. That, that was pretty cool. Nasty as fuck. But yeah, when, was. during the end of the match, it was the be- one of the better spots. Even though I called it, it was uh, Dave Bryan preparing for the knee. Or, I mean, the move that beat John Cena, and the Roman Reigns came out of nowhere with the spear in midair and uh, got the three count. See, part of the match showed me Roman Reigns could do a lot more, but I think he's hamstring by Vince partially. See, I didn't see. I hear what y'all saying about this match, but I, I ain't gonna say I didn't see none of that. But what I seen from the match was what I expected. Daniel Bryan was gonna out wrestle him, yeah, and they were gonna let Roman happened. get his spots in yeah. because they were gonna. Of course, they were gonna tell a story. Roman bringing the power, Daniel got the wrestling ability. I seen that coming too. Yeah. And what other way could you do it? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. now, that's how it should have went. I ain't saying it should have went that way, yeah. but Daniel Bryan was playing with this man majority of the match. I think if anybody, Daniel Bryan beat himself. Well, <laughs> I don't believe that fucking promo well, he kept in that tonight. Before, <laughs> well, before that match, Daniel Bryan said he was going to try to get in Roman Reigns' head. Yeah. He did. And the last two weeks, Bryan been acting like an asshole trying to turn him heel. Kind of quasi heel to make Roman Bryan Reigns look better. Turn himself heel. Roman, I mean, yeah, Bryan looked heel more heel. I, I swear they about to turn Roman heel when he had him spear. I'm like, 
Oh, okay, so that's how we're going to do this. But I'm like, that and makes no sense because they're not going to turn abrupt face. I think with Brian, him being around Bree, since Bree's evil, it's been slowly turning him evil. But, and I don't know, I believe what Brian said in that promo. Like I said, that he gave it his all and Roman just was the better man. No, I thought the rest of the part about no, that's what I was not, talking about. I thought him not oh, believing in Roman, but he was actually, so... Ugh. Hey, he did it perfectly. Even but though it was, was beautifully done. But my biggest oh, yeah. problem, my hey, biggest problem point. with that whole match is neither one of well, my first problem is I'm glad Vince didn't do what I thought he was going to do. I'm like, don't tell me you're going to first you invalidate the Survivor Series. Now you're going to make January not matter by saying, well, Roman, you won the Roman, but we're going to get to Brian because of fact because of IWC pressure. That's just so I'm terrible. glad they didn't do that. Like, Brian deserves a chance, but like. This year is young. He got plenty of time yeah. oh, yeah, to win yeah. his title later on this year. Oh, January didn't race for me. January didn't race for me. <laughs> that, so like, Seth was Roman versus Daniel to win and go to WrestleMania. That's all I know. And I, I don't that think Rumble was, no, like, Roman <laughs> like, I hate when they do that. Like, okay, he won the thing at Rumble. Another Did controversial he? win. Another controversial win. Like, what was it? The Rock and what's called? Where they both went out at the same time? I got to stand in pay per view in between. They're like, man, hold on. I won or whatever. But the other thing is, neither one of you guys show anything that says any of y'all stand a chance against Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I has Roman hasn't shown me anything that says he can beat Brock. Not with what? Not the way. Brian you may have great wrestling ability, but like Brock has great <laughs> wrestling ability, but he has way more power. Like Brian, I don't see Brian being Brock. And then Brock, last time we see him in the ring, he beat John Cena in the future. <laughs> so like, just, the so one Roman he beat the future. I so one, the future so one Roman, I don't, I don't believe one Roman Reigns is gonna beat Brock cleanly since Roman is the face. I actually gotta wait for them to do it. They better have one. They better have one hell of a build up these five weeks. I actually they're, gotta wait they're for them. gonna screw it up. Don't you know worry. what? I was listening to uh, Paul talks. Every don't week. get your hopes up. I was listening to Jim Ross <laughs> tell his theory about how like how WrestleMania should go, and this is the idea he pitched. Which I thought was genius. He said the the like the Monday leading into the pay per view, they should have a contract signing. Which I didn't agree with that part because I'm tired of seeing contract signing. But it made sense here. He said they should do the swerve then. They should have um, Paul Heyman turn on Brock Lesnar, then and side with Roman Reigns. They go into uh, WrestleMania. Paul Heyman go in with Roman Reigns because regardless of what we think of um, Brock Lesnar's the face, Roman's the heel in that match. Don't matter how they want to do it. Brock's going to get cheered like a motherfucker and they're going to boo the hell out of Roman. That's how, that's how you can save faith by go ahead and have him Brock be the faith and Roman be the heel. That way, when they boo at the end of the night, that's what's supposed to happen. And they can say Paul told Roman, okay, here's all Brock's weaknesses. This is how you beat him. So, uh, and then Paul can help Roman beat him instead of Roman well, trying to beat him one-on-one. Uh, just because you know... I'm like, this is like a baseball reference. Just that you know the pitcher is going to throw a fastball. You actually got to hit that damn thing. <laughs> so if Paul Hayden can tell Roman Reigns all the weakness of Brock he wants, Roman has to execute. That's what I was saying. <laughs> He's Paul not Hayden. out executing the beast. This, this is what I was saying, though. Because uh, that was why they did. This is what I was saying. Paul Heyman cheats and helped Roman beat him. Roman, that way Roman don't have to go in there one-on-one and beat Brock Lesnar because nobody believed that. Nobody believes. Some BS reason yeah. why Roman could win. I mean, he's I mean yeah, that that is a good reason. But just like he just said, it, he still got to hit the home run. Okay, uh, we got five rolls between them. Unless they find some way to make a triple threat match, because this is why I said like, Please, okay, no. Since, no, his reason why I said that. Y'all had January. Y'all had since on um, Survivor. I mean SummerSlam. To make Brock look somewhat beatable. I thought they did that with Night Champions, but then Royal Rumble erased that completely. I'm like, okay, so y'all need to have a triple threat match where Brock Lesnar obliterates Roman Reigns and whoever the third wheel is. At the end of that match, Brock Lesnar, where like I think where Paul Heyman up here site, where Brock Lesnar just took out both of those guys. He picks up, does another F5, leaves both of them down the ring, and Brock Lesnar chooses Roman Reigns. Put Roman Reigns on top of Daniel Bryan's dead body and walks out the ring. <laughs> Why would Brock give up the because, title? Because I'm there's the nobody that can beat Brock Lesnar. <laughs> that would actually he, be great. I he destroyed. That match. He beat Seth Rollins. He beat John Cena. <laughs> Dean Ambrose and Mid Card basically right now. <laughs> so Dolph Ziggler's no threat. So Bray Wyatt's fighting a dead man that 
Uh, Brock already beat. Yeah, but so, the problem is that kind of contradicts no. everything about Brock's character. Brock is a mercenary, but, and being champion case, equals more money. Okay, so he's gonna stay champion the, as long as possible. The mercenary, oh, he's never, hunted all the biggest games. Oh, they never. There's nothing built, bigger for Brock. But to the fan base, they never built him up as no bounty hunter. He was just a beast. Yep. That's all he was. He was like to run over just, people and, and what, make money. And what he just said is exactly what they did. The beast to do. has been fed everything. Unlike Rob right, right back trying to get that, he keeps. Right back keeps wanting to be fed. I want this to happen. Once this happens, I want this to happen. Now. That nigga gonna Triple be on beach and bitch. He just chooses to be champion. That's what it should. That would be fair. Perfect. 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 I'm just trying to save faith for the WWE. They want Roman to be hey, that I'm guy. Tra- this is the only way hey, I think it can work. Roman beats Brock. That means Roman Reigns get that huge push. Roman don't deserve that gigantic Brock Lesnar push. Of course he don't. But so that, that means down the road. Paul Heyman, but, I think it can work. Yeah, but that means yeah. down the road, that means Seth Rollins or somebody has to beat Roman. Who would get out of Brock Aven and pull this off again? Pull yeah, this but, off again? But go ahead. Remember the the Paul Heyman problem. Every time he manages somebody that's not Brock Lesnar, uh, they, they get betrayed. They, they, it doesn't help. It yeah. You think they're going to screw up Roman Reigns? Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> They're could. not screwing up Roman Reigns. They already they have, on a way. <laughs> too much of Roman. Well, Suffering hey. Succotash and his hey. magic beans. Go ahead. Hey, uh Go ahead. You already made. You already. You already. You already. You already set this shit up. You said, you "Don't get your hopes up." I. I refuse. <laughs> Suffering suckers and magic son, beans. To, to get my hopes up about WWE because they ain't been knowing the fuck. Believe the that. Is. Okay. I'll talk about goddamn. Put your name on the SAT and you get two hundred points. Easiest. They fuck up the <laughs> easiest shit. Okay, I want to clear up something. I never said they were going this route. We already know what they're going to do. Yeah, we already know what they're going to do. Roman's going to be brought clean. LOL, Roman gonna be wins. This shit ever, and the whole San Francisco is going to boo the hell out of him. No, Roman. and he might get stabbed, too. Roman. Yeah. <laughs> go in the parking lot. Please. Yeah, yeah, please don't go in the Take parking lot. Take a helicopter out of there. You need to go talk to Seth and get J&J. Yep. That, that could have failed. Yeah, boy, that parking lot got Nah, he there. needs more than J&J. Dave Chappelle's story, Dave Chappelle line is old now. Those niggas gonna cross that bridge. They ain't San Francisco now. Click, click. <laughs> I guess because the 49 got good, so the Oakland fans moved over there. You call last year good? It's been with Oakland been doing for the past decade. Yeah, it's just, true. It just, it will make just common sense that Roman would go in at the hill and brought me to faith because that's the reactions they're gonna get. It's just for common us, sense. Hey, first that I'll say that for the fans, like he has been so far. Middle thing to those fans, because they're going to boo anyway. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. you remember, did at that pay-per-view in January Mania. that happened. Um, <laughs> yeah, but remember. That was the you should have came out on the stage and said, that, No. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck everybody. Yeah, you're right not the crowd. Yeah, remember that the one, it's but, me, Austin Whitey. face? Whitey. That's Whitey. the face he needs to make. Whitey, first of all, that Royal Rumble thing was Vince Man put the knife in slowly and just twisting and twist it as slow as he possibly can with each elimination. It was a show and came. But he made sure it was the most painful way of getting it done. <laughs> Yeah, no. this is a sad one. Big Show knockout. Just, just throw the dead body over. No, but um, remember, Mania and the Raw after Mania are kind of, in a way, a vacuum of the WWE universe. So yeah, uh, they're just trying to just cater to just them is not the best idea, because that's gonna make the uh, video packages and stuff from the future kind of confusing. With yeah, Roman's man. face, 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 face. Yeah. Night before heel. He is gonna be the wild card because. Uh, Brock Lesnar still Brock Lesnar is potentially open to resign with WWE. You know, I think if even he does resign, he's gonna still lose it. But I'm glad you brought that up because did, you know he was supposed to be on Raw that night, right? Yeah. And yeah. he left. Yeah. That, he was issue. angry when he left. Yeah, it had something to do with con- the con- money or something. Yeah, yeah, it had nothing to do with creative. So yeah. He's that, going back that, to MMA. It, it sounds it's like on. it had something to do with negotiations. He, he's gone. Money, okay. so. I don't believe shit that Brock said. He's gone. I okay. think he's gone. Hey, he's Vince, done. just put... The only way you're going to keep Brock is put a one and two zeros on that check. Yeah, add, no, add, an, add another zero. <laughs> you know what? He would actually do less dates in UFC. He would always have to show up for big fight. Well, yeah, because, well, UFC, they give you three months recovery time. You don't fight that much unless you're Ronda Rousey mm-hmm. then it looks like you fight almost every, every yeah, two months because she, she beat everybody uh, well, <laughs> well, well, John well, but remember UFC is a lot matching. more taxing on the body jo- isn't John Bones about to have a match in March and he just had one in January uh, uh, yeah, yeah but didn't he get suspended yes yeah, so. Anderson Silva as long yeah. as he keeps his nose clean well no John Jones went to rehab for damn it <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this ain't the nineties. Shit. Then another thing I was thinking about too is what do you do with Paul Heyman after <laughs> WrestleMania? Nothing. He just goes back to the shower so they're ready for him. Like, I mean, he, to do what? Oh, uh, you can <laughs> remember, remember, remember. Brock gone. What's he doing with Heyman? No, no. Remember <laughs> Take Brock Cole left. off. Yeah. The announcing booth and, but, and Paul Heyman. But you remember after I Take Wrestle, them after WrestleMania too. when Brock Lesnar disappeared? Booker, well, they knew Heyman. Booker nothing. Booker they just Paul left Heyman's him. Yeah. Heyman just left in Booker the shadows and decided to do something. Heyman needs to, uh, after Brock goes, he, he needs to be paired with the, uh, Andre, he, the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. We did that last year. Look what happened to Cesaro. He got buried. I and just then, think they ought to go that Six route. feet under. I think they're going to do like AYT said. He's just going to be there until they find a use for him. This is what I was going to say about WrestleMania. I, I really don't give two fucks about this show because, no. like, look at how the show is. They got a battle royale they're going to have on the show every year just to get everybody on the card. They yeah. have these stupid ass fatal four ways yeah. every year just to get everybody. They don't care about the card. They pick four matches and say, okay. And that's another thing. What the hell do we do with Daniel Bryan right now? The top Sheamus. four matches are it set. Is Sheamus or Ziggler. It's going to be Sheamus. No, no, that's not the point I'm making. The top four matches are set. You can put them on the card, but who cares? I don't care who we face. You, let's say they go with Ziggler, even though they're not. Uh, Daniel Bryan versus Ziggler. Who give a fuck they wrestling? They're not in the top four matches. Daniel Bryan should be if, featured in one of the top four if matches. They if they put it would be, if it's Bryan versus Sheamus, then we add number nine to that mix. Cause <laughs> they're gonna put, if they're going to put him with Sheamus and it's a good match, that means they put in Sheamus up well, in the same crowd. Remember, I Sheamus is somebody they've always been trying to push. It's just he got derailed because he got in. Yeah, but go ahead. I know you're talking about top four as in card position, but any match that they Bryan Ziggler would be top two match of that night. No, not if they don't give them the time they deserve. Yeah, well, that. Ten minutes is that, not that, enough time no, for a not. WrestleMania match, and that's no. all they're looking at. Oh, have they even announced who's going to be the bullshit musical guest who's going to eat up time that nobody really wants to see? <laughs> have they announced that person yet? I don't because know, maybe, Cam- maybe, Cam- want to see. maybe Cameron, probably. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey, as long oh, as she's okay. doing the music, her Chingle Chingle song, out to her match at WrestleMania where she defeats Nikki Bella. You know for a minute. Or, are we talking about the other Cameron? You know for a minute you're talking Cameron, I'm like, what the hell they drug him up <laughs> That sounds like a Vince Logic. I was just saying that I looked at top four match and I just thought, man, Daniel Bryan don't have a spot on his card and it just it, that, that pisses me off really. Him or Dean? So if it's Sheamus, that means oh, oh Ziggler. So if it's Sheamus, then probably means Dan Bryan gonna try to help build him back up, put him in the main event status. So I mean, oh, yeah, Sheamus gonna be another guy. Yeah, who, yeah, that's a great way. So I mean, yeah. Sheamus gonna be yeah. another guy that's above that one. line. Yeah. But if like you, said, you <laughs> There's too much of a gap underneath that line. If you want to give Sheamus major heat, have him beat Danny Brown at WrestleMania. That would yeah, that, that that's would probably give him over. That would give him over. Then that's solidify him being over that line. That would give him over. You know what? Uh, you you what? know what? That's a great idea. It's just stupid to have Danny Brown lose that yeah, WrestleMania. Yeah, I know, but still. Yeah, but but after what they've done to this man, they've got to win there. You want to get Sheamus over the heel? Have Sheamus beat Daniel Bryan because I want to open up a torch and pitchfork stand at WrestleMania. Because, it's no, make that the first match of the night just to get the fans good and pissed off. <laughs> good and pissed off. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be happy when they undertake a steam return. Yeah, they, they, they're taking up spots, man. They, 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 <laughs> they're taking up spots. Don't get me wrong, because the Undertaker Sting had a great career. They, sh- they shouldn't be out there, because you know they're going to come out there, they're going to move said, slow I'm as like, fuck. I'm like the Undertaker Sting can actually move a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> they match with Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt got to carry that match. Ain't that fun. Hey, oh, I forgot, I, I forgot about the Ooh, carry Just forward. to lose. I hope uh, Michelle... I forgot about the carry forward. Triple H got a uh, kick. Brian Lesnar and the Roman Reigns don't call their matches. You brought it up to last night. I thought, I just, well, I'm glad you did bring it up now. That is... This is going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Hey, you know what? No. I, really, I can't wait to see this match now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the match. Uh, I want to see the they match. know how to. I so. want to see the match, if it, even if it's good. I want to see it. You now. just want to see a train wreck. That's no, I point. don't want to see Because if it's good, that means they pulled it off. And so if either, it's bad, if it's, it's a bad, train wreck. It's a train wreck. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm invested now. I'm, a, I'm hoping <laughs> because they don't call their matches, they freestyle. I really hope they have a great yeah, match. Yeah, you done? I'm pretty sure they plan it. Mm-hmm. They're going to plan a little I bit hope, of that. I hope the only thing they do call certain spots. I want to see if they freestyle and maybe Roman Reigns actually show some kind of he ain't Or maybe scripted. they're going to Savage uh, Steamboat this because apparently uh, Steamboat said uh, he and Savage pretty much had that whole match choreographed from the get-go. 
the Roman Reigns. And that's yeah. considered one of the top WrestleMania <laughs> matches of all time. Hey, for the Roman Reigns that means 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 that that means that means that means that means Together, and I don't think Brock Spencer. They're gonna, they're gonna be the, the best of friends. Is I hope Michelle McCool dies the Undertaker's uh, beard for. Hey, they showed him in the uh, gym hitting those squats and everything. He getting ready. Uh oh. Uh oh. He didn't take the take the ready, man. I'm surprised his knees can even take it. I mean, and I'm not even making fun of the guy. Not Kevin Nash. Hey, yeah, he would have popped the quads just putting the weight on the right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no walking into the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <no. laughs> Raw was whatever was above average, but they had some pretty good things. Suck. No, the only thing, thing is, oh, Raw sucks. They had a few good things. They had a few good things. Uh, uh, the only thing, only thing they get nothing good from this show. Randy Orton rejoined with um authority. I thought that whole thing stupid. And he yeah. RKO one. I can't of believe Randy Orton. Michael went Cole from kept saying league. over and over, they tried to take out his career. Why the hell would he join them? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Randy know how they went from one night from Randy. Everyone's like, "Yay, Randy Orton's back!" To oh shit, Randy Orton's back. <laughs> and one night, Paul. I, I hope he did play mind games. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, Paul Heyman building up. Yeah, Roman Paul Reigns. Heyman building up. Roman Reigns got sick, and <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean. But he did it well. He did uh, okay, but like, you know, he, I don't he, disagree with him. He went yeah, on a little he, long with it. Like, <laughs> he just start, he just start verbally burying Stone Cold to rock everybody. You know, Vince yeah, would have put it, yeah. Roman Reigns over all of them. Yeah, but think you of, know he would have did it back. Think then. about looking at all them guys from scratch. They ain't got no career yet. You put them at the Roman. Vince choose the Roman yeah, every time. Yeah, of course. Choose the Roman every time. But yeah, that that was a, one of Roman's best promos. He'll he think didn't hard. say he didn't say but two paragraphs. He'll think hard Great when he look at hey. Cena. Oh, this kid. <laughs> like, I blame Shut I blame AYT. I think he the one who posted that Jim Ross there and Roman picked up the mic. And he like, don't do it. That's all came my mind. Like, oh no, 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 Roman. Your family. I think, oh shit. I was so happy Daniel Bryan came out. Yeah, and then thank God. And he gave a great promo. Great promo. And then, but when Roman Reigns, as you talk, like, damn, Ro this didn't have Roman Reigns saying yeah, some cartoon game. Yeah, Daniel he didn't say, uh, old McDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, but <laughs> in the beginning, and his like, farm, he had a beast. I'll say this. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is a huge ass Naruto fan because that nigga keep talking about bleed that. We know where you got that from, Roman. Get in here, promo. Roman looked lost. I'm done. He looked lost the whole time. The end when he was great at the end when he uh, said, I'm going to beat this shit out of the leather man. He yeah. ain't going to do shit about it. Yeah. I think, <laughs> he should have said that. I don't know. I think that Roman default looks. I think he just looked low. <laughs> no, because he didn't look like that at the end. I guess because, he, well, then again, he, Heyman was right there. He had something to look hey, at. He did say he got some more blood flow. I think, I think Paul Heyman pissed him off. Too bad the Miz won the ring. That was okay. Oh, that was that thing. Fuck the Miz. I like what they, I didn't know what they're doing. I said, I said if they if they actually going to drag this out, this is going to be interesting. Miz down starting to get more attention, and that start pulling him away from the Miz. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to be interesting how they actually yeah. do that. I like the score, but are they going to get a one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania? Hell no. no. <laughs> Pre-show. Pre <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, this show. Is there, there anything, rolls. is there anything else? Uh, Can no, I do that was, that no. was basically it from Raw. Seriously? Yes. When no. it comes to Rusev, uh, for the love you know, of God, no, Russia just becomes Putin. Make Russia the Soviet Union again. The flag is so much more intimidating and, than the Russian flag. And on that note, I think we can finally end episode 30 of Real Wrestling. Um, <laughs> Lil Creepo coming for you, nigga. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Paige, my wife. <laughs> Paige, my wife. Paige. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, uh, yeah, one, one more thing. Uh, we might come back with a random wrestling sometime yeah, probably. in the next coming weeks, so um, be kinda, on the lookout for that. We kind of need to be. Peace. Peace.